Splatoon 3 is on its way to our wallets this September, and I know a lot of people are super excited. And being a new installment in the franchise, I also know damn well that there's definitely a handful of new features that fans want to see. Some of them mainly benefiting content creators, and uh, others just being very general features we all need. So I decided to make a list of all the new features I personally want in Splatoon 3. Starting with number one. Okay, you knew this was gonna be here. I don't even think I need to mention why, to be honest. If I were designing the game, I would make it so that the news just doesn't play at all when you boot up the game, and instead it only plays on special occasions like the first time you play, or to announce news of a Splatfest, you get the idea. Otherwise, all you hear when you boot up the game is... So something like a button to skip the news or just not having them most of the time is pretty likely for Splatoon 3. Dude, if this isn't in the game, I'm gonna like... I'll stick my phone in the blender. I'm not even gonna play the game. Actually, you know what? That's a lie. I probably will. Alright, moving on. Okay, I never understood since the beginning of time why there's only like six different pants, and you can't buy them like you can with hats or shirts or shoes. I was gonna initially say they should make pants a new type of gear that you can buy, but even if they don't, I don't know, maybe just let me change the color of them or something. Now that I think about it, this is kind of a dumb feature to add. But suck it, this is my video. I feel like the reason they never made pants a viable, is that a word? Purchasable? No, that sounds dumb. I think the reason they never made pants a thing you can buy is because maybe they thought there's not enough types of pants to buy, like there are shoes and shirts. But hell, I'll list them for you. They could have jeans, ripped jeans, baggy jeans, cargo pants, sweatpants, chino pants, joggers, skirts, yoga pants, shorts, short shorts, big shorts, the big shorts, shorts, cargo shorts, basketball shorts, little shorts, chino shorts, YouTube shorts, Adam Sandler shorts. See, I mean, like the list goes on and on. Anyways, next. Okay, come on. I'm a content creator. You know how useful this would be. I don't know if they would fuse a camera feature with a replay mode, but this is how I would imagine it would work. I would love it if they just added more camera capabilities to the spectator mode, such as being able to freely move it around our characters and not just being limited to a stupid bird's eye view. And if there were a replay feature, I would imagine it would be similar to Mario Kart where you could favorite battles or see the last few battles. And then from there, it would just play in spectator mode. So you could kind of view your past battles from every angle. And I mean, they have a replay mode in Smash Bros. And in Mario Kart, like, like I just said, so I think this is feasible. A lot of people so far have been saying, oh, Splatoon 3 looks more like Splatoon 2.5 because it like doesn't have any features at all. So I think this would be a cool enough new feature. Okay, I've heard mixed things about this, but mostly good. I've heard people saying that there's no point and there's other games like Animal Crossing that are meant for having your own living space and decorating it and all that, but I mean, dude, it would just be cool, okay? I don't really care if it's useless. It would just be cool to have an apartment that you could decorate and you could visit other people's apartments. I mean, first of all, they're kind of teasing us with the fact that they have an apartment complex in the main hub. And secondly, I just remember ever since I played Splatoon 1 and I saw that opening screen of the Inkling leaving the apartment, I was like, yo, we need apartments. That would be so sick. Actually, is that an apartment or a room? Actually, that's probably just the room, actually. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, if they didn't make apartments an actual feature, maybe they could just stylize the equip menu so the background's an apartment. Now that I say this out loud, it kind of makes me seem desperate for apartments. I'm not, though. I'm not. And the last feature that I want is... Eons ago, there were data mines of some brand new ranked modes, which were the rocket mode and the eight ball mode. And not gonna lie, now would be a pretty good time to introduce those to the new game. Mainly because it'd just be funny to see people like rage over the eight balls again in ranks. I was gonna make a separate thing on the list for this, but I guess this kind of has to do with it. I never understood why there's rotations for the stages and you can only play two different stages in the same mode. I was literally playing Splatoon 2 the other day with a friend, and in the back of my mind, playing the same two stages for like 30 to 40 minutes was kind of boring, so I'd hope they'd either bump up the number to three to four stages per rotation, or just not have those stupid rotations. Plus, it's pretty annoying when that pop-up shows up to tell you that the rotation changed, and then you get booted back to the square and you gotta re-enter the goddamn game and it's stupid and I hate it. <clears throat> <sighs> yeah, uh, what was I saying? So yeah, that's the list. Those are my top five features that I want to see in Splatoon 3. If you have any features you want to see in the game, go ahead and leave a comment below. Otherwise, you better like this video and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!